something a little different today normally I put them in the fenced in area but uh, we got them off walk along the path here hopefully Ben sticks around oh good boy Ben Woo. Woo. If there's ever a way that you want to wear down your dog's nails and they don't like having their nails cut, run them or walk them on concrete. I throw the ball for Ishka and she runs on the concrete and it's slowly wearing down her nails. I'm looking at the fenced in area and it's got a, a tractor in it. So. That's the reason why I'm not going in there today. I don't think Ben, Ben's not had any issues with machinery before. Like he's not shown that he's reactive or anything, but probably best just to avoid it for now. Ben. Oh, good boy. You came back. What we might do is just try to head over towards this oval. Ben! Ben! Come on! Oh. He's enjoying the sniffing. All sorts of stuff to sniff. What have you got? You got the ball? Hey, you got the ball? Ben! Bring back! That's a good boy! Yes, good boy! You gonna drop it? Oh, good boy! Oh, good puppies. Yes, good puppies. Now we're going to go down this new path here today. Not where Ishka's going. She'll come. Oh, gosh. Come on. Come on. All right, it sounds like there's a few dogs along this fence. So, back in the day, there never used to be a path here and it was just all this grass behind all these people's homes and I think it led to one of the main roads but other than that uh, no one would come down here so I'm actually kind of curious as to where it goes he's following the master this isn't probably what my grandparents were hoping for when they asked for me to walk him so I should probably put him back on a lead at some point. The reason why I've got him mostly off is just to get rid of a bit of energy first. What is this? This it looks like the road sort of stuff. Go oh, look at them. Good girl. Just gonna do a loop around this little paddocky bit here. So I've decided to do something a little out of my comfort zone and start up my own business from home. Thanks train. This is something totally new to me and I'm learning a lot as I'm going along. But I have officially started my pet grooming course. Good girl Ishka. I'll be starting the theory side of stuff and then I'll be moving on to the practical in October which goes till November um, and then once that's complete I'll be able to start up my own thing from home. I've pretty much finished most of the website now I just need to fill in all the juicy stuff like pictures of before and afters and hopefully get a few reviews that I can put up on the website as well just of my work and how people felt and then I can publish the website. I've set up some social media channels ready to go and all I have to do now is set up an ABN, get some insurance. Come on Ben. Come on boy. Oh boy. The only other thing left to do is buy the equipment. 
which is kind of the scary part to be honest um, there's going to be a, a big investment in that and um, I'm a little bit nervous spending the money but I want to do it right the first time and really give this a crack there's a lemon there's a peeing dog good boy there's another peeing dog come on Ben don't go in there, there's someone's back. Ah, ah, hey, hey, Ben. Ben, come on. Come on, yeah. Come on, boy. Come on. <laughs> come on, come on, boy. Come on, boy. That's it, boy. Yes. Oh, good boy. Yes, good boy. Even if was like, come on, mate. Good boy. Good boy. Come on. I'm just crossing the road here, so I've chucked him back on a lead. Good girl. All right, just got to fit through here. Good girl. Free, free. Oh. As you can see, his uh, recall needs a bit of work. I think when I was using my harsher tone, Ishka was, uh, she knew <laughs> he was supposed to come back. <laughs> come on, good boy. <laughs> Yesterday I spent designing the layout of the inside of the studio or the salon. All very exciting stuff, but the the only thing with that is um, the design of my garage is kind of weird. It's got two doors on different corners and then it's got the garage door and then it's got a window as well. And because of the layout, it's kind of awkward to like set up, but I think I figured it out. And there's still enough room to park the car in there if we really need to. But yeah, it, it's so surreal because I'm actually so surprised at how quick it can sort of be to just set up your own business in the garage. There's another person coming, so I'm just chucking him on the lead just so he doesn't approach him too quickly. Lick the dirty puddle. Come on, Ishka. Good girl, you're gonna go back on for a bit. So it's a bit easier for Ben. Good boy, good girl. All right, let's try this. Let's try walking both of them. Here we go. Come on, Ben. Come on, boy. Good girl, Ishka. But yeah, once I officially uh, get the ABN, then I can let you guys know what the business is called and you can go follow the YouTube channel because um, come on I'm looking forward to uploading a, a bunch of videos of different clients that I get and hopefully come on Ben there's an audience out there that enjoys it really looking forward to it which gives walking fairly nicely and she's tolerating him walking beside her, which is good. Good girl. Ishka's eyeing off the oval over there. She's like, ooh, space to run. We'll go for a bit of a walk in the neighbourhood and then we'll uh, loop back around and head home, I reckon. I'm, for those who know me, I'm not really the type to spend or want to spend a lot of money with a, a big amount of risk there. And when I looked at all the equipment that I need as essentials to start up this business, or this business idea, um, it, it's, not, it's not too much. It's not too much. It's just that, as you know, I'm out of work at the moment and my partner is the only one who's providing a consistent income at the moment. So spending uh, money at the moment is a little bit you know, there is that level of risk. 
but as the amount of money is for me to essentially make money the important thing is is that my partner and I have spoken about it and we're willing to risk it for the biscuit it might take a while for the business to kick up as well so that's also something that we've been discussing what if it takes six months a year something like that to really hit the ground running it's all in the hard work that you put in and uh, the determination I guess it also depends on the need but I think the need is there and I'm willing to take a risk in this um, worst case scenario if it doesn't get big it'd be nice if I can do it part-time maybe do it on weekends and I'd be still applying for jobs outside of this as well because um, at the end of the day we do need that consistent income for our mortgage that's what is most important at the moment for us but yeah best case scenario I might get a job working with animals being a pet groomer with another store um, I can start my stuff my business on the side and if it gains enough traction, I can uh, go from there and hopefully make it a full-time thing. Good boy, good girl. No one's interested in sniffing nothing. You're all just on the walk. Look him trying to wipe it off of his face. It's not gonna work like that, buddy, even though you want it to. dude yeah I got a big dog yeah I got a big dog and a fluffy one Jesus busy at the moment people everywhere cars everywhere dude cleaning his car road work Jesus Christ I can I can move on oh, thank you <laughs> get mum walking faster than the lady she moved off to the side for me <laughs> good boy good boy oh good puppies look at them they're actually kind of healing <laughs> would you believe it or not they're walking but really really well I'm looking forward to making quite a few friends and uh, I'd love to build up a really beautiful client base and just have a really awesome relationship with all the clients that I have. I intend to make it really personal and a really positive experience even for dogs that um, don't particularly enjoy grooming all too much. I think Ben knows we're getting close to home because he's pulling a lot more now. Good boy. Thank you for watching today's video and I appreciate all your support. I think from here on out, now that I've started study, I'm probably not going to be filming as much, but I'll see, you know, if I can try to keep up once a week or once every two weeks or whatever works best. Um, but yeah, thank you. Thank you as always.